All right, Shalom to the elect. I want to start by giving all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh is the one of the world ignorantly calls God. Yah means he, Hawa means to be or exist. So Yahweh means he is or he exists or he to be. Yahweh is the one of the world ignorantly calls God. All right. <clears throat> and Yahweh is not a so-called white man. He's a so-called black man. Baha Shum means in the name. Ba means in. Ha means the. And Shum means name. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah. Yahweh Shai is the one of the world ignorantly really calls Jesus. With Yah meaning he. And Yahweh Shai meaning save or deliver. So Yahweh Shai's name means he is the savior or he is the deliverer. Bahashem once again also means in the name, and Racha Kodash means Holy Spirit. Racha means spirit, and Kodash means holy. So I said all the praises, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, never will. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Now, this is going in to prove the fact that, you know, Moses was a dark skinned man. All right, and that leprosy, okay, and you know, and, and and what leprosy is, all right, because before I get into the scripture, you know, you got people that we pretty much everyone's seen this movie, The Ten Commandments, you know, and it's depicted, you know, as Moses looking like a so called white man, right? You see, this isn't biblical, okay. The Bible itself doesn't actually depict Moses like this. Okay? And you're going to find out that Moses was actually a dark-skinned man. And you see here it has the Israelites, you know, depicted as being white. That's not in the scriptures. That's not in the Bible, man. See? The Egyptians depicted as white. You know? It's just like, look at this. You know, it's, it's, it's like, man... Why does, like, don't, doesn't it, it should ring a bell, it should make you think. Why are they all depicted as being white? For what reason? See? White again. You know? So, let's just get something real quick. Okay? <clears throat> and, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 2, starting in verse 15. It says, now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian. All right, and the Midianites were Ishmaelites. Okay? And you can find that in the book of Judges, chapter 8, verses 1 and 24. All right? It says, and he sat down by a well. So Moses went to the land of Midian, right? Fleeing from Pharaoh, he sat down by a well. Verse 16, now the priest of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water. And filled the trolls to water their father's flock. And the troll, all right, let me just, you know, look that up real quick. You know, it's pretty much some animals drink out of, see? You know, animals come around and drink or eat out of it, all right, to water their father's flock. So these, so the priest of Midian had daughters and they came, you know, and drew water, you know, and filled those trolls, you know, to water their father's flock, right? Verse 17, and the shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock, okay? So Moses, you know, he pretty much, you know, helped them, okay? He helped, you know, these women, okay? Verse 18 says, and when they came to rule their father, when, the, you know, when the women came to rule their father, it says, he said, how was it that ye are come so soon today? Verse 19, I watched this. And they said, an Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds and also drew water enough for us and watered the flock. All right. But you see, it says an Egyptian, but it says an Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds, right? But it says, verse 17, 
and the shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses stood up and helped them and what their flock. So is it an Egyptian or Moses? But the answer to that is that Moses was being mistaken or seen as an Egyptian. All right. If you know about the Egyptians, the, the, you know, the actual Egyptians, all right, are dark skinned Hamites. All right. That, you know, the Hamites are dark skinned. Okay, and Moses was being seen as an Egyptian. So what does that tell you? All right, that Moses was a dark-skinned man. And even further, Moses is of the um, tribe of Levi. You know, further prove that real quick. Bear me one second. And this is the book of Exodus, um, chapter 6, and verse 20. <clears throat> In fact, I'm going to start up from verse 16. It says, and these are the names of the sons of Levi, according to their generations. All right. Gershon and Kohath and Merari. All right. Pause right there. Um, and now jump down to verse 18. And the sons of Kohath, Amram and Ezhar and Hebron and Uziel. All right. And I'm going to jump down from there and go to verse 20. And Amram took. Joseph bed from saying that right, his father's sister, the wife, and she bare him Aaron, Aaron and Moses. So it went from Levi down to Kohath, and from Kohath to Amram. All right, and then from Amram, you know, and then Amram had Aaron and Moses. All right, and real quick, you know, that the Levites today are so well. Not today is that there's something different, but pretty much the Levites are the so-called Haitians. Real quick, Genesis 49 and 5. we we'll go through this real briefly. It says, Simeon and Levi are brethren. Now, Simeon being the so-called Dominicans, Levi are the so-called Haitians. They're brethren, meaning, you know, all the tribes of Israel are brothers, but this specifically means that Simeon and Levi are on the same island, which is the island of Hispaniola, where you have... The Dominican Republic on one side and the, uh, and you have Haiti on the other side. All right. So the Simeonites or the so-called Dominicans. All right. Live on one side of the island and the Levites or the so-called Haitians live on the other side. Instruments of cruelty and their habitations. Right. You know, they got that voodoo on the island in both parts. You know, I have to go into the whole breakdown. But, you know, you look at the so-called Haitians, what? They're dark skinned. You know, for the most part, they're dark skinned. Okay. And Moses, let's read it again. Exodus 2 and 19, it says, And they said, An Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds. So Moses was being mistaken. Or Moses, Moses was being seen as an Egyptian. Okay? And the Egyptians were dark-skinned. So this proves that Moses was a dark-skinned man. All right? Now, I want to go to... <clears throat> The book. So, real quick, just dealing with this one by one. So, we know that this is off. Moses does not look like this. Moses does not look like a so-called white man. All right? This is off. And this is the truth. People get mad or upset, but this is the truth, man. Moses didn't look like this. The Israelites don't look like that, man. You know? You may have some Israelites that look like a so-called white man, but... Moses didn't look like this, bro. Okay. You know, so-called white man loves to make himself, you know, as other people. You see this right here, the greatest event in motion picture history. And then you see, you know, Moses on one side depicted as a so-called white man and Pharaoh on the other side depicted as a Egyptian. I believe that's Pharaoh, but either way. All right. Now, moving on, let's go to the book of Exodus. Oh, and by the way, um, bear with me one second. Oh, yeah, by the way, let me just get the name Moses real quick. The book of Exodus, chapter 2. It's a lot here. And verse 10, it says, And the child grew, and she brought him 
unto Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son, and she called his name Moses. And she said, Because I drew him out of the water. And in the Hebrew, Moses is Masha. The Strong's is H4872, and it means drawn, all right, or to be drawn, okay? But, you know, get back to the point. So this is the book of Exodus, chapter 4, starting in verse 1. Okay, and I'm going to read down. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to get right to the point. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 4. And matter of fact, I'll read down. Exodus, chapter 4, starting at verse 1. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, Yahweh hath not appeared unto thee. And Yahweh said unto him, What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. You know, I'm talking about Moses' staff, right? Verse 3, he cast, and he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it, you know. So the Lord told Moses, you know, throw it on the ground. Throw the staff he had on the ground. All right? And the staff turned into a serpent or a snake. And Moses fled from it, you know. Verse 4, And Yahweh said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. You see, so Moses took the tail of the snake. The Lord told Moses to take the tail of the snake, right? You know, and the, and the snake turned back into the staff. Verse 5, it says that they may believe that Yahweh, the power of their fathers, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob hath appeared in thee. And the word God means power. All right, and Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. All right, verse 6. And Yahweh said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. Okay, now, dealing with leprosy, you know, you just go here, right, on Google. You type in leprosy. Okay. What's going to come up? Let me just stuff like this. And that's not leprosy. Well, you know, them these big wrinkly look it looks wrinkly. Okay. You know. You know how their hands look all swole? That's not leprosy, man. Okay. You know, like like this. That's the big like wrinkly looking marks. That's not leprosy, bro. And I believe they even tried to show that in the um hmm, this is that's, that's a spirit. I was literally just talking about it. That's the spirit, man. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. I thought it was showing something, but. So I remember watching the Bible series as a kid. And they tried to say leprosy looked pretty much something like this. And that's, that's not. This. These big wrinkly things, that's not leprosy, man. Okay? You see? Yeah, in the Bible series, they try to show you, make you think leprosy is how this dude, you know, his skin. How you look, you know, you look at his skin and stuff. That's not leprosy. See, the thing is, with the truth, you can see through the lies with the truth. Okay? The truth filters out lies. Okay? And by the way, the Messiah is not a so-called white man with long, stringy hair. All right? Now, <clears throat> let's read the scripture again. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 4, and verse 6. And Yahweh said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. Now, what leprosy actually is, is what today is called vitiligo. Okay? It said leprous as snow. Okay? And a brother goes into it, but, you know, you ever see people, you know, that look like this, you know, they actually have leprosy. That's leprosy, you know. Their skin turns into that white color, you know. So-called white man, you know, with that skin, that white, that so-called white skin. Now, he's an actual leper. And sometimes they even have leprosy even further, <laughs> You know, sometimes people have it like all over, you know, completely.
lep le leprosy. You know, leprosy is that 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 white that whitest flesh. You know, that white flesh. You see, see how her skin is regular brown on one side, but then you have that white flesh. That's leprosy, man. According to the Bible, that's leprosy. All right. You know. Mm, let me just see if I type this in. Complete vitiligo. Let me see. Like for example, see someone, you see her on the left, you know, you see someone that's like covered with like completely in that vitiligo, you know, that's, you know, leprosy all over. So picturing that Moses being a so-called black man, right? And it said, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow, right? Verse seven, it says, and he said, put thine hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. So, you know, so after, you know, afterwards, Moses, you know, hand, you know, after he put it back into his bosom and took it out again, Moses' hand, you know, was brown again like the rest of his body. All right. And it gave you a picture. I'm going to do is, you know, see? Fuck yeah. Why it's doing this, but that's the, that's Satan, bro. All right, you see, this is a depiction of what actually happened. His hand, that vitiligo, you know, or that leprosy. All right, because vitiligo is actually leprosy. All right, but you see the rest of his body. This lines up with the scriptures. This is what the Bible says. All right. So, hey, man, you know, wanted to bring that out. And furthermore, you could read, you know, you go to a brother that be going into this stuff. All right. And his, his page is edifying, GMS Holland class. But, you know, you can check out his videos. Shout out, to, shout out to that brother. But you can also read about it in Leviticus, the 13th chapter, which I'm not going to go into right now. But, you know, it goes into leprosy here could really find out that leprosy what le you know leprosy is okay even further okay but um yeah you know and there's other men of the lord in the scriptures that were dark skin like paul okay shoot you know yahweh shai the messiah is a so-called black man and so is so is the heavenly father yahweh okay so i wanted to bring this out okay so lord willing so that's what's edifying I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, ever well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace, Christian Hebrew, Shalom, so Shalom to the elect.